is my own author all my books are linked down below today we're gonna do a vlog which i think is mainly gonna be like a catch-up vlog because it's been a minute it's hard for me to remember like what i talked about on here and what i talked about on patreon because i have had some vlogs go up over there but as i think you saw in like the beginning clips of this vlog i just launched the marionettes deluxe content kickstarter last night and it's already over 300 percent funded so that's been really exciting i went back and forth for so long trying to figure out what the goal should be that i would set it as i didn't want it to be too high i didn't want it to be too low because i've already invested quite a big deal of money into this thing i ended up setting it at 2000 which would not cover all of the costs of what i've invested into this but i wanted it to be something like low enough that we could reach it quickly so that would look good for the kickstarter algorithm and it would hopefully you know show my project elsewhere and we reached that initial goal in about 30 minutes last night so that was crazy i'll have the link for the kickstarter down below if you want to check it out basically it's where you can get signed copies of the full marionette series i'm doing full sets of the hardcovers and the paperbacks or you can get an individual paperback and hardcover it's the only place you can get signed copies for the fourth book in the series ruthless ends there's a limited edition jigsaw puzzle designed by the cover artist and then other like little things that's basically the gist of it speaking of ruthless ends <laughs> Uh, that's what we're gonna be working on today. I just got back from my writing retreat on Sunday. Today's Tuesday and I did get a good deal of work done while I was gone But we're still not done and while I was gone It made me realize more more things to change. So we're working on that I'm starting a new editing client for a manuscript evaluation and my critique partner also just sent me over a draft of her book So I'm gonna be reading over that to give her feedback. So we got lots of stuff to do Oh, also, um, I just finished negotiations with that contract that I was telling you guys about in the previous video and they agreed to all the things I wanted to negotiate on so i'm gonna sign it today and it'll be a done deal so that's pretty exciting as well as far as ruthless ends goes i'm basically like rewriting this whole section um i've already rewritten several chapters so i honestly have no idea how long it's going to take me to finish these revisions i'm writing some new scenes that i wasn't anticipating and i think if i can get like a couple of solid work days in it should only take me a few days which would be ideal because I just sent my critique partner half of it because I was like, I am completely rewriting this part. It would be worthless for you to read it like this. So I'm wanting to kind of hurry up and finish the second half so I can finish, send that to her as well. Dina, there you are. The people want to see you. My handsome is man. I think that's a pretty solid catch up. I'm gonna get to work, I'll update you later. So this is where we're at day two of the Kickstarter. I am like speechless. So I had quite a few early bird deals. So the jigsaw puzzle one is sold out, paperback full set sold out, and hardcover full set is sold out for the early bird ones at least. Basically you just got a little money off. There's a couple of just a single hardcover early bird discounts left. There's four of those left. And then all of the usual stuff is there. You can still get full sets and the jigsaw puzzle and stuff as usual. It's just not at the early bird price anymore. Also, I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna sell out of the puzzles and um, I had to buy all 150 of them. And so if there are a ton left over, they're just gonna be shipped to me. And I don't want a million of them in this apartment. So shout out if you get a puzzle, you're helping me out. <laughs> so I don't have a million of them here. Maxine is talking to you. Um, but my point was, I think I'm gonna do a giveaway for one of them. Maxine. Are you just very excited about that light reflected on the wall? Yeah, that's Maxine's favorite stuff in the world. She loves lights and shadows. Yeah. If you'd be interested in entering the giveaway for a puzzle, Maxine, it'll be international. It'll be on my Instagram, Kate's Book Day. I don't know when, but follow me over there and keep your eyes peeled for when it goes live. <laughs> The cats love when I work from bed because there's room for all of us. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, my hair. We're working on Ruthless Ends. I just finished writing a new scene, which is going to feed into a chapter I already have written. So now I just kind of have to work on the transition between the two. And then there's a couple of scenes that I have to like tweak because the execution is going to be slightly different. But I have the bulk of all of these chapters written. I'm just like slightly changing how this is coming about now. So I think I've written most of the new things, like the big new things that 
needed to happen. It's at like 109,000 right now. We're gonna switch gears. I'm gonna go make some lunch. So one part of the Kickstarter is I'm offering sprayed edges for the hardcovers as an add-on. I'm about to spray paint, so this is my little setup. I haven't decided what colors I wanna do yet. So we're gonna test some. I have a lot of different options. I'm trying to decide if they should all be the same color. I want a different one for each book. If I wanna give people the option and let them choose, or if I just wanna like pick which ones I wanna do, I don't know. So we're gonna make some test books. These are the options I have. I've got one book all bound up and ready to go. This is a copy of Bloodless Tide. Since this is what the cover looks like, I'm almost tempted to do like a green to match the vines or maybe like a gold. I don't know. I guess the like middle part though in the background is like silver. So maybe like a silver? I guess that would match the chains too. I don't know. Leave me a vote in the comments. Because if I wanted to do them all the same, I feel like I could do red for all of them. They all have red or black insert picture of cover four here <laughs> or like a gold i don't know what do you guys think all the same color everything different a color that's not even on the covers or trying to match it to the covers i really don't know it's a big day happy thursday taylor swift <laughs> announced new north american dates so that's pretty exciting seeing as seattle did not work out for me I did sign up for the Verified Fan and I'm hoping to get tickets to one of these shows. Also, this might not mean anything to you if you don't know anything about Kickstarter. Also, I just started my dishwasher so it might be a little bit noisy. But there's this like badge you can get and it'll like sort your project a different way if Kickstarter decides your project is a project we love. And so I was really hoping to get chosen as a project we love because you're like featured more on the site and I feel like you're a lot more visible that way. So I was thinking that would be some great exposure. And we got the project we love badge, which I'm really excited about. I was like, I was really hoping for it. And I've seen some people get the project we love badge before they even launch. If you signed up to be notified of the project, like I've seen people get the badge in that stage before it even goes live. I've seen people get it the first day their project goes live. I got it the second day mine was live or third day I was live. So I was like, I haven't completely lost hope that I'm not gonna get it, but I'm also like waiting. Like my project's already like 400, over 500% funded at this point. It was like, if that's not enough to get some attention from them, I don't know what else I could have done. So anyway, that's really exciting. The project is almost at $11,000 pledged so far which is crazy. Thank you so much if you've backed already. Literally, I was going back and forth so much on what to even set the goal at and I was like worried, are we even gonna reach 2000? So this is this is crazy. In comparison, when I did a Kickstarter for the Bloodless Ties audiobook, we just barely met that goal, which I think was like 50, it was lower than $2,000. So that was what I had to compare to. I feel like there was a third exciting thing to tell you. Oh. Hold on, here's how the test books from yesterday turned out. So I'm trying to like perfect my process before I actually make books that people are going to get. This is how the black turned out. Um, it was actually going to be gray and then for some reason my gray spray paint started coming, it like freaked out. It worked for a little bit and then it started coming out like silly string and then it like made it all speckled so you might be able to tell it's a little bit weird. So then I just did black over it. And I was worried about bleeding on the inside first pages because I've done this before and that's happened. So I put like washi tape on there to try and protect it because I thought that kind of tape would be easier to peel off than regular tape. It's still like ripped off some of the page. So that didn't work. So lesson learned. Then I tried to do my personal full set with this like crimson, like blood red kind of thing. I felt like that was a vibe. I don't know, how do we feel about this color with these books? I like it, I think I like it. I can't tell if I want something more vibrant. I do have a brighter red, but I like the dark red. I think it really matches the cover as well. So these ones went a little bit better. No weird silly string thing, but they did bleed onto the pages like a tiny bit, which like this got a little bit on here. It's just on like the front and back pages. It's not like it covers any words or makes it unreadable, but then like you can see it really got in there on like the last page on the top. I think the problem is the paper that I'm binding them with is too thick. So it leaves too much space when I'm trying to make sure to get all of the edges because I've been cutting up like the paper bags that I get from the grocery store because I have so many left over. So maybe I need to use like a thinner paper. I don't know if I'm being like too much of a perfectionist and other people won't care, but I also want the book to like look really good. <laughs> See, this one got pretty in there on this last page. We just need to perfect the wrapping of it which takes so much time is the problem and I'm gonna have to do like so many of these books. So I'm trying to be efficient, but also protect the book well. But then if you do too good of a job protecting the book, it bleeds. <laughs> this book, I'm not even upset that it didn't work out because it's kind of um, 
I came with like the binding kind of fucked up. Thank you, Amazon, for your high quality printing. So we got some test books. I'm thinking I might start a little tab on the shop on my website called like the Imperfect Book Graveyard, where you can get um, signed copies of books that either got printed weird because of Amazon or I like tested sprayed edges and they have like a little bit of bleeding on like the front and the back so they're not perfect but and then just they would be at a discount or something that way they don't go to waste I don't know this is what we've tried so far today is a Thursday I should not leave my hair up like that when it's wet it's gonna dry really weird I just walked to get a Starbucks really trying to cut back on the caffeine though so this is two-thirds decaf I just wanted the big drink not the caffeine and honestly i didn't get as much work done yesterday as i would have liked i worked on rehearsal sense a little bit i don't think i worked on either of my other people's books that i want to read so that's going to be the focus for today which would make this vlog a little less interesting because i'm just going to be sitting here so yeah honestly i think i might end the vlog here thank you so much for hanging out with me links for everything are down below leave me your vote in the comment or any suggestions as far as the sprayed edges goes especially if you're someone who purchased that add-on um if you have a preference if you would rather be able to choose which color i don't know let me know some feedback would be nice and i will just uh see you guys in the next video very very soon bye no.